Hi guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today we are making a cobbled Solomon bar bracelet. And that's kind of a mouthful. Basically it's just a variation on the cobra weave, but we're going to be changing up some steps that'll make it look quite a bit different. This project comes from JD Lenzen from Tying It All Together. You can check out his YouTube channel. We'll put a link in the description. And we also have some of his books in our store. Um, they're great books. They've been around for a while. and They're some of the gold standards on project inspiration and step-by-step -step picture instructions. So be sure to check those out. So let's dive right in. So to make this bracelet, you're gonna need two colors of paracord at about seven and a half feet each. Um, you could probably get away with a little bit less depending on your wrist size. Um, but I like to make sure that I have enough. Go ahead and start by lining up both ends and then grab enough paracord to fit all the way around your wrist plus about five inches. So I'm gonna go with about a foot and a half total. Again, just leaving a little, little bit extra. So start by putting one loop across the front, like this. And then the left side over that, around the back, and up through that loop you just made. And then where on the Mad Max you would tighten that all down, we're going to feed this red cord through that left side red loop. And then that gray cord, that is also going through that loop, wrap that around back and bring it up through the right side loop. And now you can tighten that down. But you do want to grab that left loop and leave about that much space. We're going to be making a diamond knot on the other end, so that's going to be the closure. All right, so once you have that loop the right size, just tighten that down really good so it doesn't come undone, about like that. And now we're going to go into this modified cobra. So where you would put one color across the top, in this bracelet, we are going to go once around the core strand and then across the top. So I'll do that again if you didn't catch it this time. And then like, just like the Cobra, that second color goes over the top of the, that gray cord around the back and up through the loop. All right, so now to do that again, gray cord normally would go all the way over, but in this one, we're going down through the middle two strands and then over the top. Like that there. And then this red over that one, around the back. You might have to kind of pull that loop open to pull the red cord up through there. Cinch that down and make sure you keep it good and tight up this direction too. As you weave it, it's not going to look like the thumbnail image that you saw until we flip it over at the end. This is going to be the pattern that you wear on the top. So let's keep going with that. All right, so here is the weave. You can stop once it gets long enough to wrap around your wrist and basically touch that loop that you first started with. I'm um, just a couple notes on the, the weave itself. As you're weaving, it's sometimes difficult to pull the, in my case, the gray cord through because you're wrapping it twice around. So sometimes as I was doing that and tightening it down, I had to kind of tighten one loop and then tighten the next loop. Um, and then as you're going, just remember to cinch up, pull the cord, pull the weave tight against itself um, so that you don't get gaps in between because that kind of breaks the, the look. Um, but now for the end, we can go ahead and clip these two weave cords and melt those down. And then we're going to be making a diamond knot with the two core strands.
All right, so if you haven't made a diamond knot, I'll go through it fairly quickly. And if you need a designated tutorial for it, we'll put a link in the description for that as well. Um, I like to tie it around my hand because I only have a, a couple inches left. I'm just gonna do two fingers. So just lay the gray cord across and then make a loop like this with the red cord. So you can make a loop down here and then just fold it up so that that tail end goes underneath. And then I'm gonna bring this gray cord underneath this tail end to go over that red cord, underneath this middle gray cord, and over the bottom red cord. So you have this here. Before I go further, I'm gonna cinch that down and get rid of some of this extra cord down here. that again. And then to finish it off, take one of your cords going counterclockwise around the circle, wrap it past that center strand, and then up through the middle. Then you're just going to do the same thing with that other cord, past that other center strand, and then up through the middle of the knot. Then it'll look like this. You just want to gradually tighten that down. This knot has a tendency to spill if you don't tighten it properly. So just do it slowly and it should end up right. But if it doesn't, then you can start over and, and retie it. So you want it to look about like that. So that there's a little bit of a, an open neck to this knot so that your loop can fit around it and have something to anchor to. So once that's good and tight, you can do the same to these ends, just cut them off and melt them and flatten them against the knot. And there we go. There's the cobbled Solomon bar. To close it off, like that. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to check out those two books that we showed at the beginning of the video. And subscribe to our channel if you want to see more. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.